and from Hofstra University, Dr. Alan Singer. Andreas, do the kids that you talk to these days, because you've got a very popular website and a very popular uh, African-American news program, do the kids relate to Dr. King anymore? Or is he just somebody in their history books they've heard about growing up? Well, that's the thing. A lot of kids, depending on the school, as the professor indicated, depending on the school, in Roosevelt you have uh, Harry Daniels and Dr. Catherine, who has a very strong African-American initiative for the students. So they have a tremendous program that goes on for Kwanzaa as well as for Black History Month. And those kids, they know so many of the heroes from uh, George Washington Carver to uh, Mr. Lewis Latimer. And they learn it at a very early age, depending upon the district. And as well as the teenagers that I work with, they're aware of the history. But again, it's not being taught. There's really no curriculum of inclusion at the higher grade levels or in the college area. So what we try to do is give them all the history that we can when they come to our facility, uh, black, white, Hispanic, all the people who come through us, we try to give them the history of that struggle because uh, doing the media that we do, we try to give a fuller breath of what happens in the African American community. But there is a dire need because a lot of kids of African American descent really don't know about these heroes as, as he, mm. the professor stated earlier, about the descent. A lot of people don't know about Nat Turner uh, they don't know about the slave revolts. They don't know about the Iroquois Indians in the uh, in Florida, because one of the captains wrote back to his, uh, conf you know, to the army and said, "I don't know if this is an Indian war. To me, it looks like a, a slave war because there were a thousand Iroquois Indians, but there were two thousand African Americans. So it's really the history that this professor is speaking about is really not being taught on any level. But there is a full width of activism." that did happen right, well, before, throughout our history before we here. go on and talk about how do you how do you teach it there's so much to learn about black history do you teach it separately do you teach it within a curriculum i want to ask kavan dr king mean anything to you growing oh, up oh absolutely um one of my role models um many of the readings like like andreas has said and the professor has said that you know you have to do a lot of to get the full comprehensive knowledge of dr martin luther king you have to pretty much go out and do it on your own um I, it's, it's a shame that most people really only know that I have a dream speech yeah, right. when they think of Dr. Martin Luther King, when there's so many other speeches and so many other things that the man should be known for uh, as a true American in, in our history. Um, but I would say definitely, I mean, in regards to the curriculum, um, it should be incorporated not just in the month of February, right. yeah, but it should I'm be, saying, Black History Month should be every it? month. I mean, it, should you, be, it should be taught in every month. Do you in teach every it in American Studies week. class? Do you teach it in U.S. History? Do you teach it in a separate, in, a separate African American Studies class? I mean, how do you, how do you do it and cover it all and do it the justice that most people say it deserves. Right. People always say to me, why do we need a, a separate Black History Month? And my answer is, when Black I mean, History... Are you making a different, okay. Dr. Singer, by separating okay. it? When it's integrated throughout the curriculum, when American history fully explores the Black experience as part of American history, then we won't need a separate Black History Month. But until that time, we do. Because what, by having a separate Black History Month, what it does is it, it makes it possible for teachers, but it also pressures teachers to address it. So at this is that time, a good thing, to yeah, pressure them because to otherwise, them? otherwise, would, you don't think they would. Otherwise, unfortunately, it doesn't get addressed. Okay. People say, "Well, it's going to be on the test. If it's not on the test, I can't teach it." But our kids, both black, white, Latino, all our kids needed to be taught. Uh, I, I need to step on Andreas for a second because his area of expertise. One of the things that we've done is we, we, we and, and we've done it in a lot of schools is we'll have to, we'll teach a unit on Black history and other subjects. But one of the things we'll then do is we'll tell the kids you have to take what you've learned and you have to put it together in a performance piece. Yeah. And, we, and a lot of kids do a rap. And I actually have my right. African American right. slavery rap. Okay, then you're gonna you're gonna okay. be our our impetus to get everybody to come back after the break. I don't want to miss that. Right, so we're right gonna again. take another break. We'll be right back with that rap and some final thoughts from my guest in just a minute. Stay with us. Is reduced thyroid function keeping you fat? Underactive thyroid...